Hi, thanks for joining me today. Today we're going to make a 2 meter, 70 centimeter roll up antenna. Uh, we're going to use for a feed line some RG150, some RG58. For the antenna itself, the uh, 300 ohm twin lead. And for a decoupler, we're going to use some RG174. Let's get going. All right, today uh, the antenna we're going to build is called the DBJ-2. It's a portable VHF UHF roll-up J-pole antenna. This antenna was designed by Dr. Edison Fong, who works at Cal, and his call sign is Whiskey Bravo 6, India, Quebec, November. Now, MS students uh, have this and these antennas they build, and what they do is they build them, they test them the frequency you want uh, usually and then uh, they send them out and the money the proceeds from what they make on this uh, helps do projects in their classroom so they kind of try to help self-sustain their uh, their projects now this one here is a straight two meter it will also work on 70 but uh, he goes on to say in this in this uh, thing that they, they will resonate on 70 it doesn't mean it's always good and uh, we'll look at a chart down below. So we're gonna, then we'll go to this one. This is the one we're gonna build right here. This is the DBJ2. This is the same basic antenna, different different size, but this one goes in PVC and this one's made to put it your home QTH and leave up. So the PVC will protect it. But we're gonna build the roll-up one so I can take it out on sodas. I've got a friend that has one, uh, Avi, and a6 TNT and he, he does really good. He actually activated uh, one of our sodas uh, with his HT and then we went on to HF. So you have your feed line and what I have for feed line, I already had the feed line with an SMA connector already attached and I have some RG58, about 16 feet. Now Javi said his is about 10 feet and sometimes he feels it's a little bit too shows, short. So mine was already cut there. I'm just gonna leave it. I can always shorten it if I have to later. And at that length, I don't think it's really going to, with the gain this antenna will get, will more than make up for the uh, loss in the coax. And, and all these coax, he's using 174, so that's even more lossy. So what you do is you cut the ends off here, and I'm probably going to cut about a half inch off the end here, and, and you solder these two together. And you go up about an inch and, uh, inch and a quarter. And I'm gonna I'm gonna probably take the insulation off about a quarter inch up and down both sides of that inch and a quarter, and you can use that to kind of tune the antenna. Now it shows the the center going to this side over here where this decoupler is up here, and I'm pretty sure that's the way it has to be done. I don't know for sure, but I'm gonna do the way that it shows here. It doesn't really state that anywhere that I saw, or I just missed it, but that's what I'm gonna do. Now on this side here you have three notches and your measurements are all on the right hand side but you cut your quarter inch notches on these these three here and then over here you have two more that that you cut for this this uh, rg174 which is actually your decoupler for 70 centimeter and basically i'm going to cut it four and a quarter but i'm going to cut an extra half inch on each side just so i have enough to actually do the soldering here and if you look up here um let me see if i can go up with this a little bit It shows, it shows the shield being soldered to the center on the top part here. And down here it just shows I, the, the shield is cut off from what I can tell and then just you hook the center. So center here, center and shield to the top. And then at the top here he just puts a, a nylon strap to hang it with. And uh, the coax weight should kind of keep it fairly straight. So like I said earlier, uh, this this antenna resonates on if you build the one above the uh, straight two meter and it's not all that great but here he shows a, a quarter wave ground plane with four radios as your zero db reference as far as i can tell this flexible antenna is the rubber ducky at minus 5.9 db on average i'm sure he's averaging that out and then um 
the standard J-pole up above, and the dual band both on 2 meter or plus 1.2 dB. Now this is where it gets interesting over here. Same reference and, and um, flexible antenna minus 2 versus 0. But the standard one resonating on 70 centimeter is minus 5.5. So it's actually worse than the, uh, could be worse than the rubber ducky. But when you actually build it for 70 centimeter in the dual band version, you get 0.5 over the zero. So not great, but better than nothing. So let's go ahead and we'll, we'll build this antenna and we'll test it out. Let's get over to the build. Okay, so far I've uh, just stripped the ends here and soldered these. Put a little solder on that. I'm gonna solder them together. Okay, that should work pretty good right there. You guys can see that. Okay, now we gotta go uh, inch and a quarter up and that's what I have marked here. We'll just check it. So, one and a quarter to there, so I'll strip that. I'll just use the razor knife on this. I think that was probably the, going to be the hardest part of this whole thing. There you can see it. I stripped up about a quarter inch of it and uh, hopefully that'll work. The next part is, uh, so we're up an inch and a quarter. So from there we're going to go 16 and a quarter. So 16 and a quarter would be right there. This one to 11 and a half inches and a quarter. So 11 and a half inches. I hope you can see this. I, I've got these two ready to solder on. I'm trying to spare you guys some of this stuff. And so we're going to solder this. seal all this hopefully with some heat shrink later anyhow okay um, this will be the bottom I got a little solder on it already that's center only and this one is the top and this one has the braid soldered to the center so this one's the top there's the bottom got a little solder on both pieces already So 
sorry if I'm in the way there. I was trying to hold that so it didn't come off. All right, well that should kind of be it. I'll take a few more wire tires and put across here. I did leave some of the wire, but if you could buy this 300 ohm with no with no holes in it, or do better planning than I did, because it, it's pretty weak right here. Once I put the uh, heat shrink on, hopefully I have some heat shrink that'll fit over it. But once I get that on, it'll probably help strengthen that, and I'll probably tape it first too. Around 520, 1.2 on the SWR. My repeaters around here start around 145 something. So it's 1.4 there. One forty four three thirty six one point five. I have about almost one forty eight for my high, highest uh, repeaters. One point five there. So pretty good range. This is the uh, the dual band seventy centimeters. My my repeaters around me uh, four forty nine seven is the uh, it's the highest frequency and that's 1.7 so it's okay it's usable all the way down to 430 so let's just go down climbs a little there two now it's going back down again back up pretty high back down again So 441.4. Now it's climbing again. So 1.92. It's 1 so not, not re. I mean, it's usable in, in the middle of the band there, 440. So right around here. On the 440 area, it's pretty good. Okay, there's the uh, straight two meter. I did roll up a little bit smaller. It just gives you about a size of 16 foot of coax plus the antenna. This is the uh, attachment points, just like the other one, one and a quarter inches up. And where I attached it, had right at one and a quarter, and that was perfect. Um, and then part way up, you got the, the one. Um, this is the only quarter inch notch you had to put in this whole antenna and it just keeps going up. Like so it looks really good. I, I like this one. All right, this is the uh, straight two meter and there's 146.520 roughly. Uh, it shows a 1.1 and an X of eight, 47 ohms. So let's go down to the one down a ways. Let's just go to 1.5, 143.7, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 
looks like full quieting there or full bars let's just see if we can get a test here anybody on the anybody on the repeater there give me a, a radio check please kk6 usy So thank you for the comeback there, KK6USY. Yeah, you betcha. For the record, I probably caught about every third word of that. Um, repeater, rubber ducky, and a couple others. Anyway, uh, keep playing. Have a good day. Kilo Mike Sickle, off the Romeo Hotel, Bicycle Mobile. CQ, 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 CQ Summits on the air. This is Kilo Kilo 6, Uniform Sierra Yankee for Summits on the air. I'm at uh, Mount Tamapaya, see if anybody can hear me. Kilo Kilo 6 Victor Quebec Kilo. I got Kilo Kilo 6 Victor Quebec Kilo, is that correct? Roger, Roger. Uh, where are you? Which uh, which mountain are you uh, uh, having from today? I'm on Mount Tamapias. Uh, it's uh, W6CC063. Uh, very good. Yeah, coming in loud and clear here into East Oakland. Uh, uh, I wish you good luck on getting some more contacts. KK6 VQK73. All right, thanks a lot uh, for the comeback there. Yeah, you're full quieting, full full strength there. Sounds good. CQ Summits on the air, CQ Summits on the air. This is KK6 USY, Kilo Kilo 6 Uniform Sierra Yankee for Summits on the air. Kilo 6 Echo Yankee Echo, K6 EYE. You were located? I'm in the uh, Castro district in San Francisco. Uh, so. Not real good line of sight to Mount Tamapias, actually, so I'm a little surprised that uh, your signal is as good as it is, but uh, you're coming in 5.9, full, full scale. Yeah, you're 5.9 also, just so, totally fully quieting. It's pretty awesome. Uh, I'm just doing a YouTube video. Um, I have a little my call sign, KK6USY, Ham Radio Adventures, and we're doing uh, mobile night this Monday night, so or portable night, I should say, portable, and I was just... <laughs> I said, well, it's, Mount Tamapias is close, so I'll go there. Yeah, very good. Um, yeah, I've, I've activated that mountain, uh, activated Mount Tam. Actually, that was my first soda peak, um, I guess, just last summer. Um, it's a, it was, I had a beautiful day. Actually, the mountain was closed at that point, so I had to hike all the way up from, uh, I guess, from Kentfield there. Yeah, I drove out pretty much most of the way, and I probably, I don't know, I was, I got to the one gate, and I just stopped there and walked the rest of the way up, but... Uh, Pretty foggy. Um, I can't see anything. The sun just came out on the top of the hill there, so maybe I will get some good views here later and get some good pictures. Yeah, very good. Right on. Well, have fun. I'm going to get back to work here. Uh, KK6USY, K6EYE. All right, K6EYE. Thank you for the contact. Uh, CQ Soda, CQ Soda, KK6USY, Mount Tam, W6, Charlie Charlie 063. Uh, KK6USY, this is. KN6MEA. I have KN6MEA, is that correct? Uh, good afternoon, that is correct. Uh, Gerald Rohnert Park. Oh, Rohnert Park, that's a pretty good jaunt there, I think. Uh, it doesn't have you in here for some reason, but uh, that was uh, Mike Echo Alpha, right? That's affirmative. A kilo November 6, Mike Echo Alpha. Yeah, you're almost full quieting. I'd say you're a 5.8, 5.8 five eight, five eight here. Uh, good deal. I'm running 5 watts with a little FT70D. Um, uh, I guess we're at 2,500, almost 2,600 feet. And my J-Pole is about 15 feet in the air. Uh, yeah, very good. I hear you uh, about a 4 over 9. A little bit of white noise in the background, uh, but uh, very readable. All right. Well, thank you for the comeback. I appreciate it. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, Johnny was a race car driver. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you're on the fence of wanting to make one of these antennas, then uh, hopefully this will help you. Uh, I, en I ended up making both the uh, straight two meter and the dual band. And on a scale of one to five, the uh, five being the hardest, the, uh, the the two meter one, the straight two meter, is a one. It's it couldn't be much simpler. The hardest part on that one is to uh, actually strip the uh, spots where you set out of the coax. Now the uh, the dual bander a uh, little bit harder. You you still have to strip that one spot for the uh, coax. 
Then adding that four and a quarter inch piece up above, uh, it's a little a little more difficult. So I'd say it's probably a two, maybe a three, but depends on your soldering skills and stuff. Not that hard still. Now, if you're a, say you're a tech and, I'll, and you're like, man, I'd really like to go out there and do some soda, but I don't have my general or, you know, or, or higher. Don't think that, take, get one of the, make one of these or buy one if you have to. Uh, take your HT out to a soda. I know, I can't speak for the rest of the country, but I know Northern California and Southern California, you go out on a peak, you'll get your four contacts easily. Um, especially with an antenna like this, even your rubber ducky could probably do it. So, like I said, I hope you got something in this video. Thank you for joining me. And uh, I really appreciate you guys being here. This is Chuck, KK6USY for Ham Radio Adventures. 73, y'all.